Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a foggy window text effect in GIMP. So as you can see, I've already created this effect in this image, and this is exactly what we will be doing in this video. So without further delay, let's get started. Now the first thing which I want to do is create a new transparent image. So let me just go to File, and let me just click on New. Let the width be 1920 and the height be 1080. And inside the advanced options, let me select transparency inside the fill width. And let me just now click on OK. As you can see, I have successfully created my transparent image. Let me just zoom out my image a little bit. So let me just go to view. Let me just go to zoom and let me just click on zoom out. Perfect. Now I have downloaded two images which I will be needing to import in the editor. The first one is of course this foggy window image and the second one is a city night image which will be in the background and which will give my text a more realistic effect so let me just quickly import both those images in the editor so let me just go to file and let me just click on open so i have my city night image right here so let me just click on open and uh, let me just click on convert perfect so this is my city night image now let me just go to file once again and let me just click on open and now let me just import my foggy window image so i have my foggy window image right here which is titled foggy so let me just select that and now let me just click on open and uh, that's it. So as you can see, I've successfully imported both my images. This is the foggy window image and this is the city night image. Now go to the foggy window image and go to edit and select copy. Now go to your transparent image and go to edit and go to paste as and select new layer. So this will paste the foggy window image as a new layer on top of my transparent image. Now I need to scale my foggy window image. So let me just, I need to scale up my foggy window image. So let me just go to tools. Let me just go to transform tools and let me just select scale. And uh, let me just scale up my foggy window image so that it properly fits my transparent image. And let me just now click on scale. Perfect. Now, what I really need to do is, okay, let me just go to the city night image as well. And let me just go to edit and let me just select copy. And let me just go to my image right now, uh, right here. And let me just go to edit and let me just again go to paste as and select new layer so i have successfully placed both the images on top of my transparent layer and now i need to add i need to add blur to this city night image all right so let me just go to filter filters and let me just go to blur and let me just select gaussian blur so this will add blur to my city night image. So currently the value is 1.50. So I need somewhere around maybe um, maybe 15. So let me just write 15.00. And let me just click on OK. Perfect. And now what you need to do is the mode currently is set to normal. So select this and select this option right here, which says overlay. Perfect. Now I need to write some text on top of this image. So let me just select the text tool from the toolbox and let me just write the text foggy. 
so let me just increase the um, font size to somewhere around maybe 200 pixels maybe a little bit more maybe 400 pixels perfect let me just now change the font color to black and let me just change the font to lucida lucida sans semi bold italic i'm using this font you can actually use any font as for that matter but um, generally those fonts work better which are gen in either cursive or which are clearly which you can clearly make on top of a window so anyway i've selected this font right here but it appears that my text is um, the size of my text is a little bit more so currently 400 400 is there font size is 400 so let me just change that to somewhere around 300 maybe okay this this is perfect now what i really want to do is i want to center align my text i want to center align my text so let me just um let me just go to tools let me just go to transform tools let me just select align let me just click on the text and let me just center align my text all right um and let me just now let me rotate also let me just now rotate the text also a little bit so let me just go to tools let me just go to transform tools and let me just select rotate and let me just rotate my text a little bit that's it perfect and let me just click on rotate now what you need to do is you need to change the mode so again the mode currently is set to normal so change the mode to this option which is present right here which is grain merge as you can see our uh, foggy window text effect is beginning to take shape and let me just also decrease the opacity a little bit so currently the opacity is full 100 percent so let me just decrease the opacity so as to give it give my um, text a more realistic effect so let me just decrease the opacity to somewhere around 84 and that's it one well, last thing which we need to do for uh, our foggy window text effect to take place is create this um this droplets as if um whatever you have written on top of the window is that thing is kind of uh, dropping out um so to get that effect go to tools go to transform tools and select this option this tool right here what transform and once you select that you can actually stretch your image oops select the text and now you can actually stretch your image so that it creates this droplet effect like this you can actually take your time and uh, take as much time as you want to create a more realistic image but uh, that's it that's pretty much it so as you can see i've successfully created a foggy window text effect in gimp and uh, some clear manipulation of images and you can get this effect um, I've actually I actually got this tutorial from uh, I watched another video which was on Adobe Photoshop I will uh, link the uh, I will give the link in the description below you can check that video out as well so it was it that the guy who did that uh, tutorial he did it in Adobe Photoshop so this is how you can do the same thing in GIMP but anyway that's it guys uh, do share with me your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching